so welcome to yet another tutorial at programming knowledge and this is going to be a very interesting tutorial so today we are going to uh, uh, learn about sieve theorem so this is a very important theorem a very important one and so basically it helps us to generate all the prime numbers up to n in a time complexity of n of uh, log of log n so basically we are going to generate uh, all the prime numbers uh, in uh, n star log of log n time complexity so we are going to cover this so before this uh, what could be the uh, like uh, we can uh, uh, let me start with what can be the approach you want to have like a basic approach you can uh, like a basic approach what first approach comes in your mind so uh, so uh, I'm going to discuss why we are going, going to use this theorem instead of a naive approach so basically the what basic approach you have like uh, uh, if you want to generate all the prime numbers up till n so for every like for each number uh, for each number from 1 to n you would traverse okay so you traverse so this is this this is the first approach so you would traverse and check and check for every number every number it is a it uh, uh, like for every number uh, is it a prime for every number and check for every number if it is a prime okay so you can check prime basically uh, I want to tell you that uh, you can check prime uh, in uh, like we have uh, so you can check prime in root n complex complexity that is square root of n square root of n complexity so time complexity of your this approach becomes like for n star and then like if you check if it's a prime then you will uh, you will print that number okay you will print okay so basically for, we will do the analysis of time complexity so this part takes time complexity of n okay big o of n okay and this part takes time complexity of square root of n square root of n okay now and this your print statement takes time complexity of o of 1 so this is constant so constant constant so this is in constant because o of n o of n takes linear then square root of n then o of 1 this is in constant so basically you can ignore this. This, this 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 is not an issue okay you can ignore this so print this statement doesn't take any time complexity so your approach for this would be n star root n so this is your approach and for a very large number there might be a possibility that root n tends to n then it might take n square but this could be the uh, average case complexity of n star root n and we can have a better approach we can have it uh, do this in n star of log of log n okay so this is much more better approach so how we are going to do that so for this we are going to uh, learn the first we're uh, going to have a glimpse of theorem what we are going to do so basically we are uh, for n is equal to 50 we are going to generate a list but i have um, uh, uh, i have uh, typed the list in this such a way that i can divide and, uh, and explain you easily but uh, you would have all these number in an array so that would be a list okay and that would take a space comp uh, so uh, so that would be a, a uh, an array would take the space okay so you would have these n numbers in an array now so uh, basically the first base case would be that 0 and 1s are, are not a prime number so we would uh, we would like these are our the, base cases and we can uh, solve uh, such for such a corner case or base case we can do with a single if condition that 0 and 1 are not considered uh, as a prime number so we would uh, uh, ignore them or would treat them as a false uh, okay then the first prime number is here is 2 the very first prime number here is 2 and the next prime number is 3 then 5 then 7 okay so basically what we are going to do like uh, first 
if the first prime number is 2 so what we are going to do that we are going to take every number that for the very first prime number that is 2 for the, uh, every number uh, that is divisible by the first prime number that is 2 and which is greater than or equal to the square of it so I want to say that first prime number is 2 and we would take all the numbers which are divisible by 2 all the numbers which are divisible by 2 and greater than or equal to square of it so uh, square of uh, and greater than or equal to square of it so 2 is the first prime number square of 2 is 4 and all the numbers which are greater than or equal to 4 and are divisible by 2 will be marked as false so in this process so basically uh, uh, in this process what we are going to do we are going to mark, mark them as false so 4 is the first number which is going to go then another is the 6 then 8 and then 10 in the same way 12 would go 14 would go 16 would go because it is divisible by 2 and greater than equal to the square of 2 that is 4 20 would go uh, hence all the numbers would go 50 would go 48 46 would also go 44 would also go 44 would also go then 42 would also go and in the same way 40 would go then 30 and this, these two numbers also 28 and 38 also would go then 36 and 26 24 uh, 34 so uh, it might be a, a, a little time consuming process but it's going to be very good for your understanding 32 22 okay so basically we removed all the numbers and now the next prime number here is 3 so we would all remove all the numbers which are greater than or equal to the square of 3 that is 9 and are also divisible by 3 so the first is going to go here uh, one is going to uh, go is 9 9 is divisible by 3 then 12 have already gone then 13 then next is going to go here is 15 15 would go 21 would also go yes 21 would also go then the next here is going to go 27 yes then the next is going to go 33 go uh, 33 35 39 is also divisible by 3 and also greater than or equal to square of it 39 would also go then 45 would also go okay then uh, I hope uh, uh, 41 43 yeah yes yes yeah so the next prime number here is uh, is 5 and we would remove all the numbers which are greater than or equal to square of 5 so here the next prime is 5 and square of 5 is 25 so greater than or equal to 25 so we quickly jump here so we would check all the numbers which are divisible, divisible by 5 and equal to greater than or equal to the square of it so here we have 25 we yeah, are gone so almost we are done and next prime number is 7 so we quickly jump to uh, all the numbers which are divisible by 7 and greater than or equal to square of it that is 49 so quickly jump here and we remove here so let me check if, if the remaining numbers here are all the prime so these are the base cases so we would remove them yes so now we are left with all the prime numbers let me check 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 31 we have uh 31 we have uh and i remove to remove 35 because 35 was the case which was which was greater than or equal to the then square of 5 that was 25 and also divisible by 5 so i had to, i forgot to remove this so you would be removing this in that case 31 31 we have 37 41 43 47 so i expect you that you must have got here that this this is the basic uh, approach we are going to have uh, to learn here so we will quickly code this and it's going to be very interesting so let's get started so basically from math math import star you can import everything then uh, you can have a test case t is equal to int input and then while t so basically if you have got the algorithm you must be uh, uh, this was very necessary to understand t is equal to t minus 1 
then I'm going to generate a function def generate primes and I would take an integer n and now I would generate primes is equal to first I'll, uh, uh, I'll generate a boolean array true is equal to true star n plus 1 now I'll do the base case primes of 0 is equal to false this was the base case I had taken. I, I told you that 0 and 1s are not a prime number, so we can take them. Primes of 1 is equal to false. Now, for i in range, the first prime number is 2, then int sqrt n plus 1. So, if primes of p so here you can take, uh, let me take this as p variable, so this will be easy. If primes of p is equal to is equal to true, that we are going to consider that if it is a prime, like we take uh, took the first case, very first case of 2, then we are going to, we are going to cancel all the numbers which are divisible by 2 and greater than or equal to the square of 2. So for that we are going to do, for i in range, p star p okay and n plus 1 and we would skip this uh, I know for the range function this is the start start end and the like this is like p so this is like i is equal to i plus p like what we do uh, in, like in c plus plus for i is equal to 1 i less than n then i plus 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 that's increment by 1 so this is like increment these are the steps these are the steps then primes of i is equal to false so we have done this code coding part now we would have a boolean array of true and false so we would do for i in range 0 to len primes if 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 it's if it's a prime if primes of i is equal to is equal to true then then we would print i with end is equal to so basically this part uh, uh, the logic part was up to this, this much was the logic part this is the, the uh, print function which is used to just use i'm showing you sh showing it to you to print okay then i'll have it, n is equal to input okay and then i would do generate primes yeah so I hope I'm done with this part. So let me run this code. One test cases and I will take the number 50. So yes, here you can see that I have prime numbers as 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23. So let me check with this. I'll have a split window here. Yes, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37. 41, 43, 47. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So we had all these numbers. So I'll quickly explain that. That you had to do what you need to do. You need to have the very first number. Then you, if you check if it's a prime, then you would cancel all the numbers which are divisible by that. Like for the two, like we do did. Like if it's divisible by two, then we take two all the numbers which are divisible by two and greater than or equal to square of it. So here this was done by this part. So the total time time complexity of this solution turns out to be n star log of log n. So this was a very good approach. So I hope you can uh, like you can uh, 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 implement uh, on yourself and run with many such test cases. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you so much.